October the 28th, 2020, guys. Things are getting serious here in the southeast. We've got 110 mile per hour sustained wind hurricane coming in. And you got gusts much higher than that, but 111 is a Cat 3. So what, there's not much difference. Look how fast this thing is moving forward. This is the actual speed of the satellite images. Now, Cat 2 coming ashore, still much of the same tracking from coming through New Orleans to Gulfport up into Laurel, Mississippi, somewhere in that area. And that northeast quadrant is going to throw these nine-foot seas or the nine-foot storm surge into uh, the coast of Mississippi and into Alabama. Now, when you talk about a nine-foot storm surge, guys, you're that's not the ways. But look at tonight at 2 a.m. It's moving so fast, this thing's going to be close to Birmingham, Alabama at 65 miles an hour. But again, the storm surge information has not changed much. It's a little stronger between Port Fushon and south of the Mississippi River simply because now we're on the edge of a Cat 3 hurricane coming ashore. Six to nine feet there. And this is the uh, Bourbon Street webcam. I want to point out a couple of things. The camera shut down at 6.02 p.m. That's not that far back, a few minutes. But what we're seeing is the pumps are working in New Orleans. That's a good sign because it's below sea level. If that holds up, we'll be in good shape. Sometimes, though, uh, you can have pump failure depending on power. Look at this entire map, guys, of the U.S. You got the storm is so strong that it's pushing counter, again, a counterclockwise rotation into central Texas, mixing with that cold air. The problem is what I've talked about for three days. Tornado warnings, guys, are up everywhere. Look at the strength of this storm. And right now it's close. It's crossing Lake Bourne, just southeast of Lake Pontchartrain, New Orleans. Again, that's probably why the ca uh, the camera's off there in Bourbon Street because you're at a Cat Three basically. You can't consider one mile an hour much difference. So as it moves up, the northeast quadrant is going to throw everything into the uh, section of South Mississippi and Louisiana. Well, here we got already, this was my concern the entire time with this uh, area's meeting, the cold front. Tornado warnings are popping up everywhere, guys. So get your weather radio out and stay tuned, stay in touch, keep someone awake so you can warn everyone else because this thing is not playing. For instance, here in Mississippi, this is far uh, out of coming out of Jackson. Northeastern uh, Noxaby County, southeastern Louds County, 6 p.m. Central, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Macon, or 16 miles southwest of Pickensville, moving north at 35 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado, radar indicator rotation, impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter, mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed, Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. This dangerous storm will be near Deerbrook around 6.20 p.m. I'm going to keep the video short, guys. This is just one example that's going to occur throughout the night where these two fronts are meeting. Uh, um, so all I can say is you, if you haven't been prepared, you need to hunker down. Uh, if you're in a mobile home, Think of ways now that maybe you can get out of that, especially if you're north of us where the storm is not impacting yet. But you saw those tornado warnings are actually moving all the way up now into Alabama and possibly into Georgia as these uh, fronts collide, the clash of the titans. Just think about it, guys. We're watching it. You watch it. Get your radio uh, on. This is why I always talk about having some backup heat, solar panels, whatever, because there's going to be a lot of power going out. And unlike Katrina, guys, that happened 15 years ago, and we were without power for two weeks, it was so hot, I mean, you were melting. This time it's going to be opposite, grand solar minimum. It's going to be very cold in places where you don't have electricity. Think about it if this happens and get yourself a wood-burning heater because the next few winters are going to be hard to deal with. 
We're watching it. It's a heads up. Be safe. Get your local weather radio on, your tornado warnings. But now's the time to be aware. Don't let your guard down at all, guys. Again, heads up. Be safe.